our friends. And particularly from my point of view, it's very pleasing to see a number of the trustees from the University of London's board who probably don't know that we do things other than just teaching and research. As Brian said, this has had a very interesting and rather complex evolution. We started off three or four years ago, three and a half years ago, thinking about is it possible to do something which is a bit like the science and technology park thing, but in a slightly more imaginative way. And slowly but surely, and through great persistence and very many discussions, we evolved to the position that we identified an initiative which could be built in this place and become the center for creative collaboration. In getting there, we have had a lot of support, not just from many, many individuals, but from my point of view, particularly from Brian, Tias, and Neil from the Complexity Partnership, but also from our colleges in the University of London. In fact, four of them are very busy here, as you have seen from the notices outside, from the London Development Agency, <coughs> and from the Higher Education Funding Council. All have shown considerable faith in what was a rather, um, a rather bully sort of set of concepts, which slowly have been brought into focus. We couldn't have brought it into focus and made it work without the inputs from our academic colleagues in the creative arts, but also from those many, many people from outside the academic community who have embraced this initiative in a way which has, I think, taken us forward at a pace faster than our wildest dreams. So we have a very going concern. We believe that it will is already adding value. We have little doubt that it will add a great deal more value. So let me just conclude again by thanking all of you who've given your time, your intellects, and your commitment to getting us to where we are today. I have no doubt whatsoever that we have a really very rosy future ahead of us.